The painting Summer Scene by Jean Frederic Basile is bathed in the sun's radiant light. It depicts a group of boys joyfully enjoying a summer day by the Les River, which flowed through the French city of Castelnau, where the artist had spent his childhood. The artwork was met with great enthusiasm by critics who recognized Basile as a prodigious talent. However, his artistic expression was tragically cut short by his untimely death at the age of only 29 during the Franco-Prussian War. In Monet's renowned artwork, Poppy Field in Argenté, we witness a woman and a child strolling through a field of poppies on a warm summer afternoon. This masterpiece showcases Monet's remarkable ability to strike a captivating balance between the pure green of the countryside and the punctuated red of the poppy field. The two central figures portrayed in the painting are the artist's wife, Camille, and their son, Jean, effectively dividing the composition into two distinct sections. Created in 1873, this painting predates the famous exhibition in the studio of photographer Nadar, which marked the inaugural showcase of the Impressionist group. The large-scale painting, 2 meters x 3 meters, Bathers at Aisnier by Seurat, stands as one of the early public manifestations of the pointillist technique. This approach to painting, developed by Seurat, focused on the study of color and optical effects, initially rejected when submitted to the official Salon in 1884. The artwork made its debut before the public at the Salon des Artistes Indépendants. As with any impactful innovation, it divided the critics, and today it remains one of the most intriguing examples of post-impressionist art. In Van Gogh's A Wheat Field with Cypresses, we are transported to the vibrant yellow fields of wheat that epitomize the essence of summer. Painted during his time in the Provencal countryside, the artist considered this artwork to be one of his best depictions of summer. In a letter to his brother Theo, Van Gogh described the painting, saying, I have a canvas of cypresses with some wheat, poppies, a blue sky, which is like a tartan of many colors, and thickly impasted like a Monticelli. The painting captures the intense energy and swirling movements of the cypress trees juxtaposed against the golden expanse of the wheat field. It portrays Van Gogh's emotional and vivid interpretation of the summer landscape showcasing his unique artistic style. In Gauguin's Miraculous Source, we are transported to the languid days of summer, evoking a sense of slow-paced living reminiscent of the islands of Polynesia, where the artist spent a significant part of his life, particularly in Tahiti. From Gauguin's extensive body of work, I have chosen this piece for its gentle and harmonious colors, capturing the serene subjects as if in a magnificent summer sunset. The painting exudes a tranquil atmosphere, inviting viewers to immerse themselves in the beauty of nature and experience a moment of peaceful contemplation. Gauguin's depiction reflects his fascination with the idyllic landscapes and the indigenous people of Tahiti, offering a glimpse into his interpretation of the summer season's tranquility and allure. Picasso's Two Women Running on the Beach is a small painting created as a sketch 
for the backdrop of Darius Milode's ballet, Le Trem Bleu. It exudes a vibrant energy and a carefree spirit, with the protagonists of the artwork appearing to dance along the shoreline. The flowing tunics of the figures, animated by the wind, evoke a classical and mythological ambience. In this delightful composition, Picasso captures a sense of movement and freedom, depicting the women in dynamic poses as they gracefully traverse the beach. The painting transports us to a world where the boundaries between art, dance, and mythology intertwine, inviting us to embrace the joy and exuberance of summer. The master of Art Nouveau delighted us with a series of four artworks inspired by the four seasons, showcasing the elegance of decoration and a sensitivity in portraying women of graceful and ethereal beauty, exuding intriguing sensuality, indolent, relaxed, and provocative. This is how summer is depicted by Mucha, in Alphonse Mucha's Summer, we are immersed in a world where beauty and nature intertwine harmoniously. The artwork captures the essence of the season, presenting a languid and alluring figure. Mucha's attention to detail and his ability to capture the delicate features of the subject showcases his mastery as an artist. The depiction of the woman in the painting embodies the spirit of summer, evoking a sense of warmth, leisure, and captivating allure. In Renato Gutuso's painting, The Beach, the shoreline is bustling with people, including a bald gentleman who energetically waves a towel, resembling the cape of a bullfighter. This is not a coincidence. Gutuso leaves us a clue to recognize the features of a renowned Catalan artist who often posed shirtless. Surely you have also recognized him. The bald man with the towel is a playful nod to the iconic Spanish painter Pablo Picasso. Known for his distinctive appearance and his affinity for posing shirtless, Gutuso cleverly incorporates this reference, adding an element of intrigue and artistic homage to the vibrant beach scene. In Edward Hopper's painting, Second Story Sunlight, we are immersed in one of his signature scenes that resembles a frozen frame from a film. Hopper's works often leave us with a sense of intrigue and invite us, as viewers, to continue the narrative. In this particular painting, we are presented with a solitary figure standing by a window on the second floor, bathed in sunlight. The scene evokes a contemplative atmosphere, leaving us to speculate about the story unfolding beyond the frame. Hopper's mastery lies in his ability to capture a moment that hints at a larger narrative, allowing our imagination to fill in the gaps and create our own interpretations of the untold story. What is more summery than taking a refreshing plunge in a pool, perhaps in a Californian villa surrounded by palm trees? This artwork is part of a series that includes The Splash and A Little Splash by the renowned pop artist David Hockney. Hockney is considered one of the most highly regarded living artists and his exhibition at the Tate Britain in 2017 drew an astounding 478,082 visitors, making it the most popular exhibition ever held at the museum. David Hockney's A Bigger Splash captures the essence of summer with its vibrant portrayal of a poolside scene. The painting showcases a frozen moment 
featuring a splash of water in midair, conveying a sense of movement and excitement. Through his bold use of color, geometric shapes, and the iconic Californian setting, Hockney encapsulates the carefree and captivating spirit of summer.